Hello everybody. One aim of the GeneStream project is to study the effects of single and multiple stresses on freshwater biodiversity on all levels, so from the genetic diversity level to the community structure and function level. So we are here at the Breitenbach in Hessen and we're using this unique scientific environment to test for effects on the freshwater biodiversity. Together with our partners from the University of Otago, Christoph Mattei, Jay Pigott and Murray McKenzie, we have set up an experimental system at the famous Breitenbach in Hessen. The Breitenbach is one of the best studied freshwater ecosystems of the whole world. Several generations of researchers have studied many aspects of this ecosystem for more than four decades. With the system that we have set up at the Breitenbach, we are now able to test for effects of single and multiple stressors in a very controlled manner. We have therefore set up 64 channels. In the next few minutes, Vasco will guide you through the setup and the function of this system. Hello everyone. My name is Vasco Elbrecht and I'm a PhD student at the Ruhr University, Bochum. We are using small circular experimental channels to test the effect of different stressors on benthic communities. We are taking the water directly from the Breitenbach. We are using filters and pumping the water into the system. This has the advantage that organisms from the natural drift can get into our channels. The driver of the experiment are two strong water pumps which can pump up to two liters per second each. The water is pumped from the Breitenbach and is distributed onto four header tanks. From each header tank, the water gets distributed onto 16 experimental channels. With nets on each channel, we collect emerging insects. Also, with drift nets below each channel, we will catch every organism that want to leave the experimental setup. In our experiment, we have three different stressors. We have sand, where we add fine sediment into the channel. We have nutrients, which are added to the channel. And also we have a situation where we have low flow, where the flow velocity in the channel is reduced. All of the stressors are there on their own in groups of eight and also eight controls. And we also combine all of the individual stressors in different groups of eight. As an example, I would now like to show you two channels. We have here the control where we have no stressors applied. And besides that, we have a channel where all three stressors are applied. You see here, the jet is removed for the low flow treatment and nutrients are added over a dripper. Overall, there's much more sediment in the channel. At the end of the experiment, we will carefully analyze the benthic organisms we find in each of the 64 channels. This will allow us to see the impact of each individual stressor, as well as stressors in combination. This concludes our tour to the experiment. We would like to thank our partners from the Max Planck Institute and the University Otago. And we would like to thank you for watching.